Hey, what's up everybody? Let's talk about how to put on a chest harness properly. Now chest harnesses work alongside of your seat harness, but we only wear them on elements where the climber has the possibility of being suspended in midair, like the flying squirrel, giant swing, portable pamper pole, or uh, power jump as well. So there's two different sizes. Silver is definitely the smaller of the two. Blue is more of a one size fits all. Um, so I'm gonna go with blue on this one. The chest harness is pretty similar to the seat harness in some of its features. You'll see that purple loop that is um, where you would attach carabiners to, just like you would on your seat harness. There's the buckle in front and that yellow tag, just like the seat harness, will be facing outward. So I like to think of it as like a backpack with those two shoulder strap areas. So I'm going to just kind of throw it around my back like that, have my arms pop through each hole, and I'll just kind of on my shoulders like a backpack. First step to fitting your chest harness properly is to take the black strap, thread it through the silver side of your chest harness, just like you would with your seat harness. I always take a deep breath in and hold. That way I don't make it too tight. Thread it underneath the red tape. And then remember, you have to double back. We don't want to see that red tape. So I'm going to come back over the top, pull tight. I've just made that red tape go away. From here, there's that black buckle. All right, this is really important. You want to make sure that connects through this bottom purple loop. All right, clip in nice and tight there. Pull tight, make sure it's good to go. From here, ooh, yeah, you want to make sure you don't have any twists or turns in your harness as well. From here, you want to make sure your harness is fitted properly. So there's a couple ways of seeing this. You want to make sure these two blue areas are not touching or overlapping. Or, and also, you can do what's called the ear test where you just get your thumbs underneath your harness. Pull it up as hard as you can. If it's not touching your ear quite yet, you know it's, it's, uh, it's good to go. So that's how you put on a chest harness.